I am going to show you how to do the ribbon stitch that I found in my grandma's journal. Um, I posted this in my crochet groups and a lot of you were asking me if I could show you how to do it. Um, I did create and post a video already, but um, I forgot to show you how to tie off. So I'm redoing this. Um, the biggest thing you need to remember is to make sure you're using the same size hook that you use to make your granny squares. Um, I pre-made some granny squares for you. Um, to begin, you're going to make a slip knot. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to hold them back to back. So these are the fronts. You're going to want them back to back. Let me come closer so I can show you this. Um, your first stitch is going to go into the second chain of your chain two space. So instead of going into the circle like we normally would, we're actually going to go into the stitch. And you're going to tie on. you're going to chain two, grabbing your other one, you're doing the same thing and going into the second chain, oh, sorry, <laughs> um, this is the first time I've ever done this stitch myself, so. And you're going to place a double crochet into that one, and then chain one. Coming back to the front square, into the next stitch, which is right here. You're going to place a single crochet. Do you want to make sure this doesn't twist on you? And as you can see, I'm going over my tails so that um, they aren't in the way and I don't have to sew them in at the end. I'm going to chain two. One, two. In the back loop, you're going into the next stitch. I'm placing a single crochet. Oops. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm running on like two hours of sleep and a bunch of rock stars. <laughs> Chain one. And to the front, you're going into the next stitch, placing a single crochet, chaining two, into the back, finding the next stitch, placing a single crochet, chain one, into the front, single crochet, chain two, into the back, single crochet, chain one, into the front, single crochet, chain two, into the back, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, <clears throat> single crochet, chain one,
single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, <clears throat> now we're coming to the end, so let's just finish up these last couple stitches, single crochet, chain two, Single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one. And then to finish this row, there's your ribbon. It looks very elegant. I love this look. To finish it, you're going to come into these two loops down here of the ribbon color. Oh, goodness. So now you have three loops on your hook. You're going to slip stitch and come into this stitch and slip stitch. Oops. Chain one and tie off. And there's the finished project. Thank you guys.